Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm on the right Wi Fi. Do you think I am? Uh, it must be. Hi! I hope so. I forgot that I need to do that on here. Hello! Hi! Hi, everybody. Hello. Happy weekend. It's Saturday. How are we all? How's everybody doing? How have you managed um, with this week's ab challenge? We've been doing the 100 day challenge. We've got new things coming for you next week as well. Hi everybody. Hello. How are, how are we all? So we've got a new light. If you haven't noticed, me and Sean are beautifully lit today. It's very posh. Super, super posh. Hello everybody. Hi everyone. Hello. How are we all? So I'm going to go over a few different exercises that you might not know, a few different exercises, I'm very well, thank you, a few different exercises that um, you can do at home. Mm. Hi Tony, hi, hi everybody, hello. So I've noticed a couple of you have been tagging me in your almond butter, which has been awesome. I noticed a few of you have been tagging me in your protein pancakes. Um, so, oh, thank you Raymond, that's very nice of you. Um, so we have um, today for you, hi. We've got today for you a little bit of a run through of different body parts. So Sean, I noticed on his live went over, I think I heard eight times eight. I think that's what I heard when I was watching earlier. So hi, hello, hello everybody, hi. So he went over quite a few moves that you can do full body. So today what I thought I would do is normally on a Saturday or Sunday or a weekend, Weekends are normally one of those days that either me or Sean will do something like an eight times eight times eight. So you almost get to the point where you're just spent at the end of the weekend. So we do what we would call a full body weight. So it would so that's how we would do it. So it would either be for time, it'd be for reps, or normally it's like hello from Portugal, hi, hello. So it'd either be for time, it'd be for reps, or it would be for um, like eight times eight times eight, which is. Something those of you that have done my lives, we have done many times, even as far back as the real time challenge, we were rocking the eight times eight times eight. So that's an awesome way at the end of your week. If you don't want to do a hit, if you just have no energy at all, it's a brilliant way to get your workout in and you know you've got to achieve so many and so many and then you just get it in and get it done. So I really wanted to go over a couple of different body parts with you that we can do. So what's this? Oh good, I'm good Astrid, I'm glad that your flu's better, good. Hi, hi Catherine, hi, hi everybody. So we're going to go over all our different body parts today. So we're going to go over chest, we're going to go over back, we're going to go over shoulders, biceps, and tries, legs, and then we're also going to um, go over abs as well. So we're just going to pick our favourite moves from each one, and then what you can do is on a weekend like us, you can pick one of each of those moves and then you can add them together, and then we'll go over the 100 day challenge for today. Hello, hi everybody. I look amazing because of this amazing light. That's why I look amazing. <laughs> um, I've pinched some of um, Sean's BCAs today, so that's what I've got today in my drink. I need it, I need it. I feel like I'm flagging today. Hello, hi everyone, hi, hi, hi. Yes, Victoria, you just wear it upside down. Hello. So, let's start, shall we? Welcome. Welcome to Saturday. Welcome to your Saturday um, go through. We're going to start with chest. So, there aren't just one way. There isn't, there isn't, there aren't. There isn't just one way to work chest, okay? So, you, a lot of people just do push-ups. So, if you've been following my 100-day challenge, you'll know that we do 10 push-ups, 10 rest, 10 push-ups, 10 rest. Or we've been doing so many reps for time. We've been doing different things like that. Push-ups are the easiest way to work chest. If you don't have anything else available, that's the easiest way. So what we'll do is, with everything as normal, we'll add our weighted vest. So that's gonna add more resistance. So the weighted vest comes in six and 10 pounds. A lot of you are rocking this already. So we're gonna put that on. It goes under my boobs. Strap them bad boys in. Hello. <laughs> So we're going to put them on. So um, the easiest way to work your chest is obviously with push-ups. Now straight away, I've already added six pounds to each of my push-ups. So straight away, I'm working a lot harder. So what we're going to do is, hello, what we're going to do is we're going to start with push-ups and we're going to work our way up from there. So 
Push-ups, very simply, you get down on the floor. Now, we've been doing a lot of push-ups on our 100-day challenge, and we do all of our push-ups and things like that in our beginner, intermediate, and advanced challenges if you're part of Sweatflix. If you don't know what Sweatflix is, you just join me for today. Hello, I'm Lisa. Um, you might see Sean on here as well. Sweatflix is almost like our workout vault. So it's where we put all of our challenges and you can press play on any device and you can join us every single day. So all you need to do is look for the Sweatflix app in your app stores or if you want to head to the link above this video or type in Sweatflix or you can head to our website which is bodyrock.tv and it's all on there as well. So um, if you want one of these vests the link is above this video or head to bodyrock.tv. We don't just give you one of them either, we give you two. So you can get the six pound or you can get the 10 pound vest, which is the black one, this one. I knew it was here because I saw Sean wearing it. So this is the black 10 pound vest. So this is the same size as the blue one and they're all reflective, you can see the reflective. So a lot of people are wearing them when they get walk the dogs, a lot of people are wearing them when they're hiking. They're very, very multifunctional. So if you're not just using them to work out, maybe you're gonna use them for something that you are training for. Maybe you're training for a triathlon right now. Maybe you wanna add it into that, you can do that, okay? So, um, sorry to change, you can't find my pancakes, it's cause they're not on Instagram, they're on Facebook. You need to go to either the Facebook and go to the videos, um, you'll see it in there, it's right in there. And I go through the whole recipe, so yeah. Um, it's very easy anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to go over pancakes, we're going over muscles. So weekends is where we do a full body. So we start with push-ups. So push-ups, very, very simply, you're going to either come down onto your knees or you're going to come down onto your feet. Hands are under the shoulders and all you're going to do is lower your chest to the floor, come back up. Now if you're advanced, you're going to obviously come up onto your toes. Now, that is your first chest exercise if you like. Now you can advance that by adding challenge bars. So maybe you've got a chair, maybe you've got um, a bosu, maybe you've got a sofa, something like that. But if you want to make that more intense, which means that you're putting more pressure, anytime you lift your feet, anytime you elevate, anytime you extend something, even if you extend your arms, your legs, you're creating longer levers, you're taking the weight off the bottom part of the body and you're putting it on the top uh, part of the body, which it makes things harder. So, if you are feeling like your push-ups are spot on on your toes, maybe it's time to elevate, maybe it's time to take it up a level. So when you're elevating, your abs are in, your back is flat, and you literally lower to the floor, or we come. So obviously to make this harder, you can do single leg, Maybe you want to do push up and then you can touch with the knee. You can do lots of things with these challenger bars. You can really make it as intense or as easy as you want to make it. So that is chest wise, that's how we're gonna incorporate push ups if we're ever gonna do anything like this. So um, if you want to start with push ups, that's the first chest exercise I would recommend. Then I would recommend you adding weight. Once you get comfortable with pushing your own body, um, I would then recommend adding weight. So you're either gonna add weight in the form of a vest, you can add weight in the form of a bar. So maybe you've got a bar like this. You can add weight in the form of dumbbells. And there are different ways that you can work the chest. So, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to start with a lion chest press. So a laying chest press, you're going to need something to lie on. You can do it on the floor, but generally I would recommend that you get either a balance trainer like this, or you can get a bench or something like that. You're going to get your bar or your weights. Find something that pushes you. Lie down on the floor. Make sure that your, your shoulders are on the board. Remember, it's shoulders that do the push. It's not your legs, it's not your abs, your abs are holding your back on the mat. But if you need to add some more weight, literally pull your bum off the thing and push with your shoulders, okay? You're going to hold the bar to your chest and you're going to drive it up, take it down. So this is the same as a push-up. So we're reversing the action, we're going up and we're going down. Now, that's going to only work just like a push-up, it's going to work the front part of the chest. Now there are different parts of the chest, you've got upper, we've got lower, so we need to work those as well. So we're going to do a fly, which looks like this. So you can do it stood up if you wish. If 
you want to get some weight, like this one, <clears throat> the movement itself looks like this. So you're going to come and level with your shoulders and you're just going to open up. But when you open up, you're not just flying the arms out. When you go out, you're going to really drive in and squeeze together, bring it in, squeeze together. Now, how I would do these is on your uh, balance trainer or your bench. Again, pull your abs in, take it out and then squeeze in. Take it out, squeeze in. Okay, so make sure that you're squeezing in. Now, if you want to do uh, workouts with these sorts of moves in, there are a lot of them in sweat flicks. So, now we're going to work the, um, uh, the upper part of the chest. You're going to take your weights and you're going to lift, squeeze, take it down and back. So lift, squeeze, take it down. So I squeeze at the top and it almost drives the chest pecs together, get up and take it down, okay? So that's another way of working your chest. So try that, add that to your workout. So we've gone over push-ups, we've gone over chest press on the floor, we've gone over flies, and now we've done lifts, front raise, okay? So the other one that you can do, you can also do a forward a front press. So this is working the top of the chest, you can see when I push, you push in, you're going to see results just there on that part. Now you'll see a lot of people doing these with cables in the gym. You can do the same thing with your weights. It's all about control. Now if you have a weighted band like this one, like this one, you can make things harder by using the band. So you can actually put it around your body. You can add resistance to your push-ups if you want to. So as you push it around your body, when you push up, it's gonna add resistance to the push-up. So I'll show you that now. So this is taking it up a level just again. So when you put the band on the floor, this is a very hard band to be filled with the best one as well. It's gonna add more resistance. Now the thicker the band, this is the thickest one, I would use the red one, which is the one down from this. The thicker the band, the harder that is going to be. So if you want to increase your push-ups even more, and you are travelling, etc., that's where the band will come in. That'll add more resistance. Okay, so, that's gone over. I can see all of you, yes. Hello, everybody. So that's gone over chest press, that's gone over push, that's gone over flies, that's gone over forward lifts. So that's your chest. Now we're going to work back. So, back again, you can do it with weight, you can do it, with, it's a very difficult to work back without weight, you can do it, you can do it with doing supermans on the floor, you can do it with just no weight at all and just using um, your bands, uh, I'll have to use the, the, this one again, so you can do it with no weight, you can use your band and you can use, this is quite a thick band, you can go back, all the way, you can do that and that will help. Um, if you want to tie it to something, for example, um, tie it to the table leg or something like that, you can do row. So this is helping if you're traveling, etc., and you don't have any equipment. I would use equipment for back. I would get as much weight as you can. So let's start with adding some weight, okay? Hello, everybody, hi. So, get your bar. So just like we did with the chest press, we're now going to reverse the, the hand grip and instead of pushing, we're going to pull. So instead of using our chest, which is our front, we're now going to pull backwards. But we're not just going to let the arms do the work. It's very important that you pull your shoulder blades together. So really pull those together, okay? So that's what we want. So really draw them together. So get your weight. <clears throat> You're going to bend forward. Now, it's very important that your abs are in back is flat and when you drive up, you don't just stop there. What you have to do is really drive up and pull your shoulder blades back, take it down, take it down. Now you can do this again with your bar or you can do it with two single weights, it's entirely up to you. You can also change your grip, which will change the way you work. So if you go down, it's now taking your elbows out slightly and it's working just a tiny little bit differently especially on your arms. You'll feel one way will work on your 
front of your arms a little bit more, the other one will work the biceps a little bit more. So try both ways, come forward, drive back. You see how I pull back with my shoulders? It's my arms that do the work, my back that does the work, and I drive up, okay? If you're finding you're struggling with your back, I would recommend that you do what I did to start. If you're gonna come down, row once, then stand up, give your back a break, down, row, come up, okay? So that is gonna work the back just like that. Now, just like with the chest, remember we did the chest press this way. Hello, everybody. You're wearing a hat. Oh, nice one. <laughs> so just like we did with the chest press, we did flies this way, so this is working the chest. Now we're gonna reverse that, bend forward, and now we're gonna do flies, which is gonna work the back. So you can use the same moves, but to work different body parts. So, <laughs> hello. Hi, hi Amy, have a good one. So we're gonna work the back this time. So just like we did with the chest, where we did a chest press, you can do the same movement with either weights, or you can use your band to do um, flies. So. This is called a, um, a fly. So, you're going to come forward. This time, instead of um, the chest where we were going out like this and opening up, you're basically going to push forward and this time you're going to come out to the back, but you're going to draw the shoulders together. So you have to concentrate on pulling those shoulders back. Got it? Now again, just like with the row this way, you can change your arm placement. So if you want to change your weight placement, you can come out to the side. And that's going to work very differently again. If you want to, so this way and this way, you can alternate. Again, if you need to stand up, have a stand. Drop down if you need to. So that's two different ways that you've taken the same move, but we've worked chest and back the same. Okay? So, whew. Out of breath. So, so drink. So we've gone over chest with bands, we've gone over chest with the vest, we've gone over chest with weights, we've gone over flies, we've gone over back with a row, we've gone over back with a fly. So they're two things that you can do to work your back, okay? Same movement, just working different muscles. And it's all about mind to muscle, it's all about what you're working. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, sorry. So another awesome back workout, pull-ups. Now pull-ups for most girls are one of the hardest things that, that you can do. I am only just getting back into doing pull-ups and they are hard, they're really, really hard. I used to be, back in the day, before, before body rock, believe it or not, when I, I, I used to be able to smash out so many pull-ups, it was kind of my thing. And I just lost the habit, I lost the habit through just not doing them, not practicing them, and I've just started picking that back up again. And it is practice, unfortunately. It's using the same muscles over and over. So if you're starting with your, your wall pull-ups, you'll probably find that you might have to use straps, you might have to use a band. I'm using a band at the minute. I'm using the red band that we sell in the store, the very, very thin one, just to help you, just to give you that pull-up. Perfect, though, if you want to use your challenger bars. Now, if you remember, we did a bent over row this way. That's awesome, but we need to almost get used to picking up our body weight, and that's why we use the challenger bars for this as well. So you come down in between the challenger bars, group onto the sides, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up, bring in the chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades, take it down, come up, take it down, up. Now the further, like I said before, if you take your legs away, if you take your legs further out, if you make the lever longer, which means that you're taking the legs further out, you're gonna put more weight into the thing that you're pulling up. So remember that. So that's how you increase the effort. If you want to change it up, you can. These are brilliant because you can just use one at a time. So you can go down. And again, just like we did with our, um, with our bent over row, we can change our hand position which is changing the way we're working. So we're gonna put it under, up you go. See, I'm changing the way I'm working right now. You can come up and down. And if you want to really advance it, you can take your other challenger bar, maybe take all of your weight off the floor and use all of your body weight. 
So you don't need any weight. If you don't have any weight, you can just use body weight. So you can do that, okay? So, that's taking all of that into consideration. So now we've done chest, we've done back. Now, we're gonna look at legs. So we're gonna look at legs. Hello, hi everyone. So if there's any questions or anything you want to know, or any workouts that you want to, want to go through, just post it and I'll go through it while I'm going through all the different body parts. So if there's anything you want to see, just please pop it below and I'll pop it on. <clears throat> Hi. Mm. Hi, it's Saturday. We're going over full body moves, okay? Yeah, go to the local playground. There's all, all stuff you can use there. So now we're going to go over legs. So, legs, if you're just starting out, it's going to be enough with your body weight. Then we're going to add the vest, which is going to add resistance. So that's going to add six or ten pounds. Now, if you are doing legs, we're straight away, if you have it, you're going to add the ten pound vest because the legs are the biggest muscle in the body. The biggest fat burning muscle in your body is the legs. But just like the chest, just like the back, there's lots of different muscles in there. They're not just one muscle, they all interlink with each other. Just like, you know, triceps go into shoulders go into the back they all interlink and all cross over so you need to make sure that you're working all the muscles not just one of them so that's why when we do flies we also do front raises we do things like that and that's the sort of moves you will find in our workouts so you can go to sweat flakes and do these workouts with us and work through all of these but i'm just giving you a rundown of things that you can do if you want to just have a go in your living room pick, pick up something that's a weight that pushes you and have a go and try some new things. Okay, so, legs. So the first thing to, to know about legs is your squat. Now, I, I teach the squat all of the time. I always tell you to use a chair or use your sofa, and all you're gonna do, just like I normally show you, is just sit on your sofa. So you're just gonna sit down, stand up, that's a squat. Most people, when they squat, will squat down and forward and do this. Or you get the people that go on their tippy toes and do that and squat down like that. What you need to do is hips out, sit back. Imagine you're sitting on a chair. Your weight should be in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. You sit back, head high, back up, sit and drop. Now you try to get as low as your knees if that's not possible. It will come. I promise you it will come. So squat is the first thing that we are going to learn and we get right. That's the first thing we do. Then we start with adding more weight. So whether you're gonna add the band, so maybe you're gonna do squats with the band, which you can do. So the band again is gonna add resistance. So you're gonna squat, come up, squat. That is if you're traveling, if you don't have any other weight, that's where the band is gonna come in, okay? Everyone else, we're gonna start with adding the weight. So straight away, Oh, we take that front squat and we add some weight on our shoulders or if you've got dumbbells you can add the dumbbells by your hands here but we're just going to stick with the bar today so otherwise I'll be here all day so you're going to squat down just like you did before drive up now that is the first squat this is called a back squat so you sit back drive up squeeze if you bring the weight here to the front we're now on a front squat this is a lot more advanced so you squat now, working differently. It feels different. You might not be able to do quite as much weight on the front squat because you're holding it. You almost have to hold it, I can show you. You almost have to hold it on your um, chest. So you don't want to go with too much weight, but it does feel different. It's a lot better for some people. I don't prefer it, I prefer the back squat. So that's one way you can do it. If, if you change your foot placement, you immediately change your squat position and what you're working. So now, with our legs apart, one second, hello, hello, elbows higher. Yes, Antonio, I know elbows higher, but we're doing hits at home. Um, so if you change your foot placement out, like this, you're now going to work your inner thighs. So again, you have to concentrate on making sure that the knees don't come forward first. This is one of the things that most people do. You'll see them in classes all the time. This is their squat. And they just do this almost like knees first. It's all hips first. So remember, get a chair, get a sofa, get something to sit back on. So your toes pointed out, sit back, head is high, drive up. 
This time we squeeze the inner thigh, so this is working this bit. So if you don't like this part of your leg, get some of these in. Whoop. <laughs> so, you're going to come down, drive up. Now, that's going to work the inner thigh. If you want to do more quads, um, hamstrings, lunges is where it's at. So, all the way down, get your lunge, 90-90, all the way up, down. Again, making sure you're not coming forward, you're not coming back. You literally go up and down, up and down. Now, advanced people, if you want to increase that, you can. Just get yourself a sofa, or you can use your challenger bars, put one leg up, and this time you're gonna come down, lift up. Again, just like I showed you before, you take the weight away, you extend the lever, it makes it harder. So that's why I'm always telling you to try to lift one leg when you're doing push-ups. Take the weight away, add more resistance, work on one leg. That's why we're always doing that in our workouts. So if, you do, if you've done the real time challenge, if you've done the lives with me, you'll always know that we'll work on almost like one leg. We're working on one leg, one side, because it'll help get those muscles going, get those muscles switched on, and eat, make sure you're, you're even as well through the body, so one side of the body is not doing all of the work. So, again, if you take your leg up, even without the weight, you're taking the weight off this leg, off the floor, and it's straight away gonna make this side work harder. So you come down, again, making sure the knee's not over the toe, just lift straight back up. Go down, lift straight back up. That is how that is going to work. So that's your lunge. So that's the front of the leg, the inside of the leg. I'm going to go with the back of the leg. So this is your hamstrings, okay? Hi. So your hamstrings, you're just going to get your weight. What you're going to do is put your feet hip distance apart and you're going to drop down until you feel it in the back of the leg and then rise up. Take it down, rise up. You'll feel it. Where you need to stop is where you feel it on the back of the leg. Slight bend of the knees without rounding the back. Just take it down, take it up. Now, as soon as you feel it in the back of the legs, that's where you need to stop, okay? Let's go down to the calves. So again, you can add weight or not. All you're gonna do is lift up onto your toes, take it back down, lift up onto your toes, take it back down. Now, I would suggest that you work differently. You do 10, maybe this, then put your toes together. 10 with your toes together, then put your heels together, and then 10 with your heels together. So you're working all round that muscle right there, okay? Same with the squats, maybe try 10 with the feet together, 10 hip distance, 10 with the toes pointed out. So we're working differently all of the time. That is what I want you to try. If you're just doing the same things over and over again, Try mixing it up. Try seeing how that feels for you, okay? Diamond, to prevent the rounding of the back, if you're doing a lot of weight, a lot of weight, get yourself a belt, but you shouldn't be doing too much. So when all you have to do is stick your back out, uh, stick your bum out, and make sure your head's high and pull your abs in, and your back should not round. You're, you shouldn't be doing this. Your back, your shoulders should be back, and you should come down, up. If you go too far, you're going to come forward and it's just going to look really awkward. Get a mirror, practice in the mirror without weight, then add weight gradually until you've got it right. It's all about form. So, the only thing we haven't worked on is the side of the leg here. So you can do this. with I, I do this all of the time. You can put your weighted vest. This one. You can put your weighted vest around your leg. <clears throat> And you can do leg lifts, which is what we've done many, many times in the past. So you can do side leg lifts, which is going to help do your outer thighs, which is here. If you want the best leg workout in the world, you need to go and hit my the ultimate leg workout on the lives in Sweat Flicks. It's amazing. It's honestly, it'll make your ass burn. Um, the other way you can do it is by doing a curtsy lunge. So an advanced move, but if you've never done it before, I can't get my vest off. If you've never done it before, it's all well worth doing. So a curtsy lunge looks like this. Ah, strap it back. So, just like we did in the lunge, so we step back, heel, uh, heel is high, drop down. That is your lunge. Now a curtsy lunge takes that lunge, takes it to the side, 
and then you drop down, but making sure that knee is not coming over the toe, you come up and you come down. Now I would add this with a straight lunge. We do this all of the time in the live, so if you want to do one of these workouts, head to sweat flicks, you'll get them in there. That is going to help do the outside of the thigh, that's going to do this part. So if you want a nice juicy ass, that's the one you've got to be doing, okay? Now the last one I'm going to show you is thrusts. Hi Sean. The last one I'm going to show you is thrusts. So thrusts are one of those awkward ones that no girl wants to do because all the, they always think every guy in the gym is looking at them. But they are probably, for me, being such a petite person, they're probably the ones that I see the most results from. So, thrusts, you can do it off your sofa, you can do it off your, boat, uh, off your balance trainer, I'll show you different ways. So straight away, you can use your sofa and you can come down and squeeze up. So why are you watching the telly tonight? <laughs> and you, your boyfriend or your partner looks over at you doing this, it'll be well happy, believe me. <laughs> so you can hold the squeeze, you can add more weight, you can always mix it up as well, so you can reverse that. Again, remember what I told you, if you take weight off, if you extend levers, you make things harder. So this is what we can do with this exercise as well. Taking weight off means I'm putting more weight into the working leg. You come up, squeeze, and so one side is taking all of the weight off. It's very easy to make things harder, believe me. All you need to do is extend, lift, take the weight off, work one side only. If you haven't done that yet, if you're still in a rut and you haven't done one of our challenges, if you haven't done one of my challenges, for example, in the lives, if you haven't worked one side and then the other side and then worked one side, then the other side and put more pressure on one side than the other, you will never understand how hard it is. When you only work one leg or only work one arm or only work one side first and then go on to the other side, it's so much more intense. So if you're at the gym, even if you go into the gym and you don't do our workouts, try today to just do one side only first. So maybe one of the... Um, one lunge first, then change. Just try to do one side first and then the other side, okay? Try to do that. Whatever machine you're on, whatever you're doing, whatever exercise you're doing today, that's my tip for you today. Um, so last but not least, that's the lunge. So you can add weight along the middle. That's a thrust. You can add weight along the middle and thrust, but make sure that you're squeezing your bum as tight as you can. Again, if you want to do that workout, it's in sweat flakes, it's, it's a live workout, and I think it's called the ultimate leg workout. So head to there and you can do that one and it will make your ass burn. Very, very quickly, we're gonna, we're not gonna have time to go over all of these because I'm running out of battery. Have you got a battery pack? Um, no, okay. I'm running out of battery and I've already been talking for nearly 45 minutes. So very quickly, we're gonna go over shoulders. So shoulders, a bit like chest, need to make sure that we're working the whole shoulder. So again, we're gonna do just like we did, very simply, this is not rocket science, you're starting to get it. So instead of chest, instead of back, we're now gonna go out to the side. And that's gonna do shoulders, you see how it works? You see it's the same move, we can do the same move and work three different body parts just by mixing up our position, just by mixing up our body position. Right, so this time maybe we're gonna come forward, take it down. This is not rocket science, all you need to do is give it a go. So this is going to work your shoulder out and in. If you want to work it very differently, maybe you're going to bend the arms. Take it up and down. It's all working the same move, but we're just varying the arm position. That's all we're doing. I know, it's all starting to make sense to you, isn't it? It's all starting to become clear. It's like, this is not hard. This is the same move. I know, I get it. I'm trying to teach you that. I'm trying to tell you not to be afraid to join in, not to be afraid to give it a go. Nothing is impossible, you just gotta to want to do it. And honestly, none of this is rocket science. It just needs somebody like me to hold your hand and talk you through it, that's it. So, uh, what? Pick things up and put things down, that's it. That's all we're doing, so we lift up, take it down, maybe change the arm position, maybe do that. Again, working shoulders. Now, you've also got the back of the neck here, something called traps and lats. So, lats you're gonna use a lot when you do pull-ups. 
which is the big one, but you've got these little things on the top here that are called traps. Now you might find that these hurt when you're like at your desk or something like that, or when if you bike a lot, you'll find that, it, that that's the one that like holds up. And also when you get first get your vest, you find that holding up, you, you might find that it gets a bit tight, completely normal. But we can work this because we need to make it sure that it's working. All you're gonna do is lift the shoulders, drop them down, lift the shoulders, drop them down. Now, this doesn't look like a lot, but if you squeeze at the top, concentrate on that little muscle, that's gonna help build a beautiful back. If you bend the elbows and squeeze up with just a tiny bit of a different placement, just like this, you're now working very differently and it burns. Oh, it burns so bad. Honestly, it burns so bad. So all you're gonna do is take your shoulders back, you can see on my face, I'm not happy about this whole thing. So that is gonna help. So, shoulders. Again, your main shoulder move is a press. So we're gonna go back to either, if you're away, if you don't have any equipment, you go to your bands. So again, if you wanna, this is a tiny bit too strong for me. If you wanna do one arm, you can do one arm presses, just like I showed you. You can do, it's a tiny bit too strong for me. <laughs> can't get it up, I can't get it up. So I need this. <laughs> so you do presses, just like this, up and down. Take the red band, I would use the red band for that. So up and down, or your barbell or your bar, you're gonna come up, take it down, up, take it down, take it down, take it down. That is gonna be your main shoulder press. You can also do it with one single one, and bring it in and that's gonna work differently. But again, same move, not rocket science. We do these moves every day in our living room. All the way up, all the way down. So, I've gone over chest, back, legs, shoulders. I need to set you your challenge today. I'm gonna go over the rest tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna set you your challenge because I'm running out of battery and I've already been talking for almost 50 minutes and I don't want to not get your challenge in today. So, we're gonna incorporate those sorts of moves into today's challenge, okay? Hi, hi, hi. So, if you are watching me for the first time and you're like, this is pretty simple. It is simple, and we do all of this in our living room together, we work out together, all you need to do is go to Sweatflix or Bodyrock.tv and we will train you all the way from beginner to intermediate to advanced and we'll hold your hand all the way through it. And you will not only do it with me, you do it with our amazing community. And they are the people that are below here, that are writing right now, that are saying hi, that are checking in, that are showing their high fives. You're getting to an amazing body, uh, Facebook group and they are gonna help support you all the way through your journey. So, I hope that maybe showing you that these moves are the same moves, but just different, has made you realize that this is not gonna be hard. This is not gonna be intimidating. It's just gonna be a bit challenging. That's all it's gonna be. You might find that you have to come out of your comfort zone just that little bit, but don't worry, we're gonna be right there to hold your hands. So all you need to do is just join us. Go to bodyrock.tv, see Ashley starting the Intermediate Monday. Everybody's on different levels. We have got every age range, every weight, every gender, everything is going on in the Bodyrock Insider Group, and we are pushing each other together. So, if you are looking for somebody to train with every single day. If it's not me, there are other trainers that you can train with in our group. You can go, you can join them, you can check in every day, you can get, and all you do is press play and we'll take you through the workout. You haven't got to put any rocket science into this. It's like having a personal trainer right in your living room. So if you want to join Sweatflix, click the link above this video or head to your app store, join Sweatflix, okay? I am gonna set you today's 100 day challenge. Oh man, bless him. Ben's got me a, ah, oh, Ben's got me a plug. He's a good boy. I'm just gonna move you back a bit so I can get Ben to plug it in. Ah, oh, it doesn't reach here, Ben. Will it go around there? Don't worry, I'm still here. Will it go on there? I got it, he's got it. I've got a plug. I had full battery when I started, but as everybody knows, I've got my camera, Ben. So you go for it. So as everybody knows, the Apple, the Apple phone it, battery is the worst right now. Thank you, Ben. So Ben's plugged me in, I'm on it. Ben's sorted me out with some electricity. 
Everyone's like, thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. I've been sorted. A full battery does not get you through a live, let me tell you. I normally bring my battery, but I was like, I've got a full battery. I'll be fine. It's Saturday. I'm not going to rent on for an hour. Wrong. <laughs> hmm. So we've now got full battery. The guy that asked me to twerk on every live, I'm not going to twerk. Like, I don't do twerking. You've seen my dancing, if you follow me. I'm more of a, like, 90s kind of freestyle kind of girl. I'm not a twerker. I'm 36 years old. I don't do twerking. I can't twerk anyway. I don't have the ass for it. So, <laughs> so if that helps you, good. I'm glad to answer your question. That might get you to decide whether you're going to stay or not. Dance moves, Freddie's, Freddie's dance moves and dance moves. So, uh, we've gone over chest, we've gone over back, we've gone over legs and we've gone over shoulders. And I have showed you just how easy it is to go from beginner to intermediate by either lifting your leg, changing your position of your body, we're moving different ways, and most importantly, I hope, some of you out there that were feeling too, in, too intimidated to start and join in have realised that this is not going to be too hard. This is not going to be scary. I'm going to hold your hand all the way through. You just need to want to do it. You just need to get into the frame of mind where you're like, you know what? For three days a week, I'm going to work out. And I'm going to give you 30 days for free. So all you need to do is head to Sweatflix and you'll get 30 days for free. So for the first 30 days, you haven't got to worry about anything. And then after that, it's gonna cost you two, uh, the price of like two good coffees. That's it, for a month. A personal trainer, either me, Crystal Walker, Sean, Kelsey, Melissa Bender, if you wanna do yoga, Deanna's in there. If you wanna do something for mums, um, Body Rock Baby is there, Body Rock Mum is there. Like everything is in there. So if you are wanting somewhere to start, if you don't know where to start, Please just give us a try, at least for the free 30 days, just give it a go and get healthy and get fit. We were, I don't want to make this sound really bad, but we were at the basketball game last night and I just took a minute and I just looked around and just scanned and I get it. I get that it's easy to eat junk food and it's easy to eat popcorn and a lot of people are on holiday and having birthdays and blah, blah, blah and I get that, but a like 99% of the people in the crowd were eating like popcorn and pizza and all of these things and I'm on every single day going no don't do it don't do it you've got this you could do it and I'm giving you all of these tips and tricks and I was like god and all I could think was if I if I could I would give everybody here a free membership because I just want them to just get fit and get healthy so if you're one of those people that you're dying to just change something you just want to get fit you want to get healthy you want to stop all of these addictions like sugar or eating the wrong foods or you just need to help in the right direction please just give us a go give us a try let us be the first port of call you go to let us show you just how much we can help with our community our check-ins every day our tips and tricks that we're giving you every day our meal plan which is amazing just let us try just before you buy the DVD before you sign up for the gym membership before you invest in expensive equipment at home try us just try us for, for what for the free trial just try us give us a go and if you don't see a difference if you don't see changes then I don't know what to say because every single person on our Facebook page when they start with us they're posting pictures and they're holding out like old clothes and they're different their bodies are different they're loving it they they can't believe how easy it is how much how hard it can be if it needs to be so please I beg of you just give us a go before you just go oh, no I'm just gonna join the gym and then you end up being one of those people that sits on an elliptical and then you give up and then you never go I don't want that for you. I want you to get in the best shape of your life and I will train you or one of our trainers will train you and we will hold your hand all the way through. You just need to get Sweatflix, get the app, join us, just decide to commit today. So, Jessica, the sugar cravings, I've gone over that in one of my videos. So head to the videos on my Facebook page, not the main Body Rock page because you might not find it. But if you head to the Lisa Marie Body Rock one, there's less videos on there, so you'll be able to see it. It's actually shared from the main Body Rock uh, page, but it's just easier to find. It goes over cravings, it goes over how I avoid them, it goes over things you can do, it goes over things like eggs and jam, <laughs> which is bizarre, but it goes over that. Um, so yeah, so. 
I want to drop two Jess sizes. Jessica, we are the people for you. Just sign up, head to Sweatflix, give us a go. Start at the beginner if you're a beginner. Start at the intermediate if you're an intermediate. Start at the advanced if you are absolutely awesome. Join me, I will take your hand all the way through Hitmax, all the way through the Real Time Challenge. So you can do anything. Hi, hi Amber, hi. So, that's that. So, let's go over today's challenge. So every single day, I've set you a little challenge and we've called it the 100 day challenge because we're gonna do it for 100 days and all it is is a tiny little challenge that you can do before bed, you can do it in the morning, you can add it onto the end of your workout and instead of being like our workouts in Sweatflix where it's more you know, for time or we do skipping or we do burpees or we do all of these different things or Tabata is coming in there, I know, um, or Tabata, some people like to, how do you say it? How do you say it, Ben? Tabata. I say Tabata. Tabata. You say Tabata. Tabata. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. So it depends on what, what you want to say, but that's in there. That's coming up. Sean did that in Mexico. That's going to be awesome. A lo lots and lots of people love that. So that's coming. Um, we've got new uh, videos that I filmed in Quebec, Quebec, me and Sean. Last week, they're on the way in there. They're advanced. We've got Body Rock Boost, which has just gone in. That's for beginners, intermediate. Oh my gosh. Um, Deanna. Is her name Deanna? Yep, Deanna, Deanna has just um, done a workout which is going in right now. She is over 50, amazing, awesome physique. She is showing you how it's done. So if you're looking at me right now and you're like, I'm too old for this, I'm over it, I, I don't want to do this anymore, I can assure you, you are not alone. You might have had kids, you might be at that point where you just feel a bit invisible, you're now looking at other people and going, that's for you to wear, that's not for me to wear. Why not? Why can't you wear the hot dress? Why can't you get hot and sexy? Like, th that's not how we roll anymore. We are, like, when you get to my age, it's not the time to stop anymore. We can show all of them youngins how it's done, believe me. Get on it, get ready, and get, get sorted in your head that this is not over. Because you reach a certain age does not mean it has to stop. It does not mean that the joggers need to be a permanent part of our lifestyle. We can rock the hot dresses, we can look glamorous, we can look amazing, and 90% of the time, the people that are turning heads are the older ladies, are the elder, elder, uh, older gentlemen that are looking smart, looking toned. Believe me, on the other side of the coin, if you are less than 40, less than 30, maybe you're even 20, and you just wanna start, start with us, give us a go. Because I promise you, the best piece of advice I can give you is start young. Get into sport and fitness young. I wish I'd have been given a kick into fitness because I'd have started way earlier. So this is my piece of advice for you. If you are not fit right now and you have never been to the gym or you have never worked out and you are 20, you're eating McDonald's and you still get a six pack just by blinking. I've been there, <laughs> I understand that. But it doesn't last forever. Believe me when I tell you, it doesn't last forever. So you need to work a lot harder as you get older. And I know right now, I'm the older person. You look at me like, yeah, whatever. Still got like five years before I need to worry about that. Do it now. Look after your body now. You will never regret it. It's the best thing you could do. So, hi. Hitmax day two. Hitmax is amazing. Uh, yeah, Sherry, honestly, I wish, I never came from a family that was sporty at all. My dad was a minor, my mum worked three jobs, like, we were just, you know, you finish school, you get a job, that was how we rolled. I found sport, and I found that I was good at it, and I'm, I, I'm so thankful that I walked into that step class the day that I did. It changed everything about me. I, I didn't drink. I never drank all the way through school. Just, but I was young. Like I was like just in school. I was still at that point where I could have been molded and I could have still like had. It, it was such an important time for me to be grabbed and just taken this direction as opposed to this direction. And a lot of people find that as they get to like 25, between 25 and 30, that's when they start picking up the gym. Please, if you're watching me right now and you are of our younger generation. Honestly, the best advice I can give you is to do start now because it does get harder as you get older and you are going to reach that stage one day where you're going to have to start at the bottom. So start now, even if you just do two or three days a week, even if you just get into something that you like to do, whether it's boxing, whether it's hit, whether it's running, whatever it is, please just start now. 
whatever you're doing because you will never regret it. You will never regret sport and the a feeling that you get of feeling healthy and being able to run for the bus and being able to be fit and feel like you are alive inside as opposed to going out of the weekend, getting smashed, filling your body with burgers and, and beer and all those bad things. It's honestly, it's, you just need to mix it up. What's that one? It's oh, I don't know. So, oh, thank you, Norman, that's good. Um, getting old is not an option, believe me. It doesn't have to be, it's a number. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, there, are, there is an age to where you need to do this, there's an age of where you need to start. What I'm telling you is, from my personal experience, I wish I'd have started younger. From my personal experience, I wish I'd have started this a lot younger. Like, I really do appreciate being able to run for the bus. I appreciate being able to, hello Molly, look. I appreciate being able to run for the bus. I appreciate being able to be able to smash out a few burpees every now and then. So not as easy as it was when I was 27, 28, get it? Not as easy as it was, but that's not gonna stop me. It's all in here, it's all in there. So if you are overweight, if you are looking for somewhere to go, let us be the people that get you in the best shape of your life and join our community. They're like-minded people. They will honestly do nothing but support you and almost lift you up and lift you through all of this. So, I'm 36. Hi. Some of the most amazing people I know and the most inspiring people I know are like 50 plus, honestly, and they're in the best shape, like five, six percent body fat. Like they're amazing and they're old school, kick, kicking ass every day, just all awesome all day. And they don't think of their age as anything but just a number and that's it. They don't think of it as a reason to stop. They don't think of it as a reason to give up. They don't think of it as that. So if you are a mum, if you're a dad, it's just start now. Like, start now. You've got five months to summer. Do you know how different your body could be in five months? Just head to Sweat Flakes and just try us. That's all I'm saying. What do you think, Molly? Tell the people. Tell the people. <laughs> This is Molly. Molly is a teacup Yorkshire Terrier that grew a tiny little bit too big but also stayed small enough to, for people to call her a puppy and she doesn't like it much. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is Molly. Right, okay. So, talk's over. I've had a good run. We've been over some exercises. I'll go over the rest in my next live. Very quickly, this is our weighted vest. If you want one, head to the link above this video. If you want to go and join our workout um, forum, if you want to join our workout community, head to Sweatflix, that's where that is. Um, head to bodyrock.tv if you want my meal plan, if you want the vest, or if you want any of our equipment that you've seen me use today, that's where you're going to find that. Are you ready for today's challenge? So, every day I've been setting you a tiny little challenge, some take 5 minutes, some take 15 minutes, but generally it's all about strength, so that's what we're going to do. So. You're going to set your, your um, timer, you're going to set your interval timer to a stopwatch and you're going to find out how many of these you can do in that time, okay? So there might be reps of 50, there might be reps of 100, every day is completely different but the most important thing that they have in common is we're help building strength, we're help building muscle, we're help trying to get ourselves out of that, that comfort zone. So yesterday I actually did one live. So if you want to check that out, see how this goes, just to see if it's something you might be interested in, go to the videos, go to yesterday's live, which was at three, and you, you can see just how this is supposed to be done. So you go as hard as you can, as quick as you can, and you push really hard, okay? So, very quickly, this is how this is going to look today. So we're going to incorporate everything we've done. So we've done chest, back, legs, and shoulders but also gonna include an ab as well. So your chest, I've gone through all of your chest workouts. So this is what I want from you. I want you to do, using your, I'm gonna use my uh, handhelds because it's easier to show you. So just like I showed you, you're gonna get down onto your balance trainer. <clears throat> you're gonna do 50 chest press. Now, if you're doing this with a decent amount of weight, now when I say a decent amount of weight, I would use 30 pounds each hand, minimum. I'd drop down to 25 when it got heavy, but I would push for 30, for 30 all the way through. So you're gonna do 50 chest press, 
Then you're going to do 50 flies, which is the one I showed you. Remember, you can do it standing if you need to, if you haven't got anything to lie down on. You can also use your band. There's no excuses for this. I've showed you. If you don't have weights, you can do push-ups. So if you don't have the weight to push, you're going to turn it around and you're going to do the push-ups. I've just been over all of these. So, 50 chest press. 50 flies. Got it? Oh, Lisa, you're killing me. 50 straight squats. 50 wide squats. Now, the wide squats, you might want to put the weights here. You might want to have a bar. You might also want to hold the weights in the middle. 50 wide squats. 50 shoulders. So, shoulder press. Depending on how you want to do it, if you want to use your bar, if you want to just use one weight, 50 shoulder press, 50 flies, which is the one I showed you. It's working back. Got it? 50 rows. And I'm horrible, right? But if you go with a decent weight, you'll be fine. And then we're going to finish it on your abs. So you're going to fit 50 abs. Now, your ab workout can be any ab move you want. I am going to use my challenger bars and I'm going to use tucks. So I'm going to come up, tuck. Now I'm going to straighten my leg if I can all the way through. So that's how today's 100 day challenge is going to look. I'll repost it on the Instagram and the Facebook pages. You need to write down how long that took you. Now, don't go with a weight that's way too heavy. I need you to go at your moderate weight. I want speed overweight so i want you to really be able to one two three four that's what i want from you so maybe you pick 10 10 pounds for your press maybe only using two and a half for your for your back if you're starting out with this that's the sort of weight i want but what i do want you to do is i want you to make a note of the weight you did use and if you wore your vest that's what i want because that's gonna tell me when we do it again if you improved so, that is your workout today. That is your challenge. Are you going to take it on? We're working on the 50s today. You shouldn't find that a problem. If you just go with a decent weight, what it's going to do is fatigue your body. So it's really going to fatigue each muscle. So, that's back, shoulders, um, chest and abs. That's what we're working. So, enjoy that. I will write it, don't worry, I'll go over it, I'll write it in the notes below and I'll also post it on again. So I take that little clip and then I repost it on the Bodywork page, um, on the Bodywork Insider page and on my Facebook page. So once, you have, once I've left here, I'll go home and I'll post it straight away. So that's today's challenge. I do post it on Instagram and Facebook, Tony, you're right. So that's today's challenge. I hope some of you out there that were feeling a little bit demotivated, that may be feeling a little bit lost, um, has found any inspiration in today, any inspiration into thinking that this is not hard, you can do this, this is something that you can really, um, Dominic, I'm going to tell you just to stop because I'm sick of seeing show your biceps, like I must have seen it 50 times, it's well boring, so just stop it. Um, so yeah, so if you are out there and you are actually um, needing help, needing somewhere to start, we are right here and we can help you. And if you're an advanced person and you want to train, I challenge you to just challenge one of my challenges or one of Sean's or one of Christelle Walker's. Just try one. And if it didn't make you push, if it didn't take you out of your comfort zone, then I don't know what to say, but I bet you it does. A million percent it does. It will be better than any, anything that you've probably done in a long time. So check us out. Head to Sweatflix, download the app. If you want to increase your workout, get your vests on. Show us your high fives, head to the Instagram, head to the Facebook pages, have a look around. Um, and more importantly, if you get lost, just head to bodyrock.tv and there's somewhere there, someone there who can help you and we can point you in the right direction. Or just pop it below here. I had an awesome day. It's been like over an hour talking today. So I am going to love you and leave you and I am going to send you a big kiss and um, enjoy today's challenge. See you soon.